Hi, welcome. If you're watching this video, whether you're ready to start using EC Cloud, or maybe you just want to learn more about it, either way, this is the perfect place to start. In this video, we'll talk about six things that are important for beginners to know about EC Cloud. We believe that with the knowledge of these important basics, you will be able to more quickly learn how to navigate and use EC Cloud. Before we start, we would like to give you a quick overview of EC Cloud. EC Cloud is a cloud controller that allows for simplified network management at any time, anywhere. It provides a centralized platform for managing various Edge Core and Ignite networking devices, from wireless access points, 60 gigahertz millimeter wave equipment, to network switches. Since EC Cloud is cloud-based, the first thing to know is which website to go to and how to register a new account. So please go to cloud.igniteNet.com to register a new account and then log in. After logging in, you will see a cloud dashboard that looks like this. The second thing to know about EC Cloud is that it is composed of three levels, which are cloud, site and device going from the top to the bottom. In EC Cloud, you can own multiple clouds where each cloud can have multiple sites added. Then under each site, you can have multiple devices registered. Site level settings can also be configured and inherited by devices to help you quickly set up your network. Now that you understand the structure of EC Cloud, this brings us to the third thing that we want to talk about, which is adding sites in a cloud. And it is mandatory to add at least one site before you can register devices. After logging in for the first time, since no sites have been created just yet, you can see a reminder asking you to add a site. So you can just click on the Add Site button to add a site, or you can click on Site Management from the Cloud menu on the left. If you click on Site Management from the Cloud menu, please click on Add Site to proceed to adding a site. Then after a site or multiple sites have been added, you can now start to register devices so they can be managed by EC Cloud. Similarly, the system will show a reminder asking you to add devices once you have finished adding the first site or you can click on devices from the site menu on the left. And this will be the fourth thing to know about EC Cloud, which is how to add or register devices. On the devices page, click on add device. Here you'll be able to register new devices. You can see that there's an option that allows the devices to inherit site level settings. Then to add devices, you can choose to use barcode scanning by enabling this option, or you can choose to manually enter the serial number and MAC address of the devices. At this point, you may be wondering about the plans and the fees associated with using EC Cloud. So this will be the fifth thing we will talk about, which is cloud plans and pricing. A cloud by default is a trial cloud that you can use for free. This includes 50 device licenses and data storage for two weeks. So you can test out the cloud and explore the features for free. This is great if you're doing evaluation or testing. And when you enter the deployment stage, you can choose to upgrade to the core cloud plan by paying an annual fee. This will give you 500 sites per cloud and 500 device licenses per site, and data will be stored for 30 days. And if you wish to have your custom domain, brand, and styling, you can also choose the virtual private cloud by paying an annual fee as well. And you can also purchase an add-on that will extend the time period for data storage from 30 days to one year. So the last thing we want to talk about is how to manage user access to EC Cloud. 
to provide others access to your cloud, go to User Management and click on Invite User. Across the network, you might have multiple staff members in charge of network management, and EC Cloud supports tiered user access, where users can be assigned an appropriate role with the appropriate administrative privileges. For example, you can invite a user as an administrator with nearly full write permissions and access to all sites and devices within the cloud. Or you can invite a user as a site user so that they can only access and manage specific sites. And once you have invited a user, you will see this user under pending invitations. The user will receive an invite by email. And once the user has accepted the invite, they will be listed under Manage Users, as shown here. And here you can see the option to edit the account or revoke access. OK, so this is the end of the video. And here's a recap of what we have covered. We hope that by now you have a clear understanding of what EC Cloud is, how it's structured, where to register, and how to begin adding sites, registering devices, and managing user access, which are all important steps in setting up your network. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to write to ecwifi at edge-core.com. We will be happy to answer your questions.